Hello from Calabria, Italy. Because a few people ask me how the bike performs on my first long trip, this video will be my answer. So if you have nothing to do, grab your favorite drink and stay with me. All right, because I cannot edit this video, if I make some mistakes or something is not good, please forgive me because it will be one shot. Just press the button and go. All right, say to the question, how the bike performs on this trip? Well, uh, my, you know my opinion, it's always been the same. The bike is just a tool. The travel is what really matters. And uh, it does not change because I have a new motorcycle. The new motorcycle means only uh, a less care, which is mean I don't need to stop in every thousand kilometers to check the oil level and everything. I still do it because this is a habit that I have created during the years. But uh, the new motorcycle means, or theoretically, that I won't have technical problems, but you never know. This is not a, a guarantee, it is just an assumption that we've got when we buy a new motorcycle. So how it performs? So far, so good. You know, one person was falling from the 10th floor and when he passed the 5th floor, he said, so far, so good. Uh, on the long trips, you never know what will happen and uh, you never know what will be the end result until you get back home safe in one piece. Uh, an example, a fresh example that I've got from last, last year in, in Turkey. I did not expect to have accident, but bam, it happened. Anyway, luckily I survived the accident. I was able to finish the trip. I hope it will never happen on, on uh, this trip. So, positives of the bike. <laughs> You have to see, I will show you after a while, but the, <laughs> the tripod that I've got at the moment, it's a, it's a garden light. I'll show you after a while. Anyway, it's improvisation. In Bulgaria, we'll, we are very good with improvisations. We, we adjust to any situation, any location, anything that comes to us, we just adjust it. This is a very good skill to, to be able to improvise. Uh, back to the bike. This uh, 25 horsepower that it has more than the old Tenere comes really handy, especially when you want to twist the throttle to overtake someone or up hills. Uh, I never ride fast anyway on the highways or on the straight roads. I keep the same uh, constant speed with 100, 110 kilometers per hour. Of course, I try to avoid all highways, but sometimes they are necessary. I have to get it here and there. But I keep the same speed, 100, 110, that's it. The consumption, the fuel consumption is very low. It's usually 4.5 liters per 100 kilometers. With one petrol of tank, which is 16 liter, liters, I get every time at least 300, 350 kilometers before I need to refill. There are more than enough petrol stations in Europe. Until this moment, uh, I haven't got a problem to find one. The, as I said, they are more than enough. I can actually fill the tank in every 100 kilometers if I want to. But usually I do it every 200 kilometers. So petrol is not a problem, especially on this trip around Europe. Is there any more problems? No, so far I haven't found any problems on, on this motorcycle. Everything that I want, everything that I want, it's give it to me. If I want throttle, it has more than enough power. If I want nice uh, twisty roads, it performs fantastic. If I want to go on the dirt roads, whatever day comes, it's just brilliant. I need to clear something. Just because I have this type of machine, it doesn't mean that I will spend uh, my time on this trip on the dirt roads. You have to understand me, my idea of trip is to travel and see as many as possible places. If I stuck only on the dirt roads, it's not going to happen. Many people ask me, are you going to do uh, TAT uh, here or there? Are you going to ride dirt roads? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever I have the chance to make a connection from somewhere or shortcuts, yes, I always do it. But this is not my goal to ride only on the dirt roads on this trip. Because if I do it, I'll need an year to complete everything that I have planned. I hope it's clear now. Let me walk around and show you a, a few things on the bike. First, I would like to show you my tripod. So this was my <laughs> tripod, the garden light. And the place that I stay at the moment, by the way, it's fantastic. It's uh, in Calabria. It's a guest house, this place here. 
The price was 30 euros, fair enough for this region, but I'm very very happy with uh, hospitality and everything. So, uh, as you can see, the bike condition is a little dirty, but this is not a problem. I, I am not a fashion guy, so I don't plan to, to wash it for now. Maybe when I come back or if it became so dirty, I turn a light with this Saloback 21 Brothers. Fantastic option, the only bike that I don't feel at all. Uh, the front tire I've got TKC 80, just because sometimes I would like to go out of the roads and I prefer to be ready to have some kind of stability and comfort. Yes, I know that they don't last much, but when they finished, I'm gonna change it. On the rear, I still got the uh, Scorpion. Pirelli Scorpion tires. I don't really like these tires, but I commit to myself to finish it first and then throw it away because the front I change it, but the rear at least to finish it and then I'm gonna change it. You can see that the rear parts are in the middle of its slice. It is because I use the rear brake, <laughs> not only the front. And yeah, I cannot complain at all. The only question that I have, or maybe not a question, maybe like a, like a downside, it's about the ABS. This motorcycle, it's, it's actually does not need ABS. The problem is that I cannot turn it off uh, temporary. Uh, I mean, uh, all the time. It's sometimes it starts working, but in not in the right moment, and I don't really like this, but. It's all right on the street. I hope I will never need to use its power. Uh, it is switchable from the dashboard. Of course, I know this this station here, this button. But I mean, sometimes when I ride in the street, let's say in the town, and I have a cornering left, right, slowly on first, second gear, and then I press the rear because I want to slow down, in the rear lock and slide and the ABS does not even work. So I said, okay, maybe I have to press and hold more. When I hold more, let's say, uh, I've got like one meter of mark on the street and then it uh, starts working very loud, you're like, struck. So I don't really like this, but as I said, it is not even uh, that powerful to need ABS and I'm not a fast rider anyway. But so far, the bike is just perfect and for everyone who has uh, doubts is this the right motorcycle for traveling i'll say yes it is absolutely fantastic for traveling of course keep in mind that i travel alone and i do not have much luggage it's like 15 kilograms all together if you're two two people it could be done but it will be a little bit difficult and maybe the power won't be enough in in many situations if you're in a big group group with let's say riders with 1000 cc or more then you will have some problems to catch them all the time but if you're alone or in a small group with similar size motorcycles i cannot even point you a better bike for that purpose because it allows you to have fantastic ride on the twisty roads it allows you to have some dirt road connection if you like to heart of road yeah, it could be done I don't think it's the right motorcycle, but it could be done. And keep in mind that until this moment, I am with absolutely stock bike. So I hope I have the stock suspension on the front and the stock on the back. I did not even preload the spring. And I don't feel the, the need so far. As I said, if you like to go to a really hard off-road where the, the possible weakness of the suspension will be noticeable then it is better just to get a, a different one oh, these flies are everywhere better is just to take a, a different motorcycle and you'll have a better result that's it i hope this information will help you at least one person if you have any questions you can drop it to me in the comments below i'll try to answer but no now I'm a bit busy, so if I don't answer, don't get upset. I just don't have the time to do it now. Always ride safe and see you next time. Ciao.